painstakingly go over, you guys are probably thinking she's got to be crazy, I go over every single tree branch that I can see. Now, these are really small, it's not going to make that much, much of a difference, but when you have a lot of them, you start to create depth. And people looking at the image, they don't know why, they like it, but there's something about it. Okay? Tip of the day. There you are. All right. Let me stand back and look at this for a minute now. What else would I do? Let's add another layer. I love the glow category, but please use it sparingly. All right, let's see. Come down to deep forest I like to use only for foliage, but it really blurs it. It puts a Gaussian blur on it. Please use it sparingly. And sometimes I like what it does to the rock, so I'm just going to click on it. And it creates a cool effect. I mean, look at that, right? But of course, it's you know it's really unrealistic. Let's take it back. Let's add a little bit. But remember what we can do. We can selectively apply it. I'm actually going to leave it about right there. Maybe a little stronger, but I'm going to take it back out of the water a little bit. So I'm going to click my brush, come over to, yeah, no, leave it like that. I'm set to paint out. You can also invert. If I click on invert, hides everything. It's kind of like changing it to a different color mask like we did in Photoshop, but I did, don't want to do that. I do want to keep it, but I just want to paint out. A little bit of the effect, not even 72%, come back here to 40-something. Oops, make this a little bigger. And we're just going to paint a little bit of this out right there. Because it does tend to darken it a bit. 